welcome to my vloggers video. So basically my plan is to do just a massive compilation kind of monthly vlog um, of all the kind of things that I get up to this month. Um, I'm not going to do every day because I did vlogmas and it's a bit crazy and you have to have like loads of really interesting things going on and to be honest every day isn't that exciting so I'm just going to like highlight the best bits. Yeah I've had a really busy day. I've been soaked through about three times. Sheffield has been very rainy. Not the summer weather we're hoping for so far. <laughs> Come on August, be a bit nicer. Um, so I'm just heading out to the post office to basically, I'm basically selling my life on eBay at the minute. So I'm just going to head out with my parcels, which I have in this very lovely mini bag. You followed me all the way to the shops and bag, didn't you? Lovely boy. <laughs> so I nipped into Primark when I was in town. And I picked up this loveliness. It's this pusheen throw. So nice. I wanted this a while ago. I found it in stock, left it, instantly regretted it because they didn't have any for ages. So I thought I'll just go in today and see if they've got any of these. And uh, they did. All right, what are we in for tea, Mama? Oh, lots of roasties. Roast um, butternut squash and potatoes. Do we not have any mash? Oh no, we are having mash, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we mash as well. I'm gonna say. Double treat. What else have we got? Pork chops. Pork steaks. You have to come home for mum's cooking every so free often. stuffing. Nice. Lots of veg. Lots of veg. Lots Oof. of veg. Kitchen fairy. I actually like a sad theatre mask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel it melting when you have it in your mouth, <laughs> can't you? I don't want to fit in my mouth, it's not that big. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to day three of Vlogust. I thought I'd show you um, some bits and bobs that we've done around the house lately. Uh, I'm having a day in the house, generally doing clearing up stuff, as you have to do. So many rooms to keep on top of. I just thought you show you a few things that we've done over the past couple of like weekends and stuff, just to get the house looking a bit better. So I absolutely love this corner of my room. It's my little um, rail wardrobe that I go to kind of every day. And these prints are so nice. You may have seen them before actually in photos, but I got these on Decenio. Just thought they look quite nice behind there against the blue wall. Of course, I've got my little Disney bags with all my pins. <laughs> Hung up, ready to use. How many bloody t-shirts do I own? Look all the ones I've bought like recent in recent months. Crazies. So we kind of went shopping the other night and just abandoned ship and just left all the stuff that didn't need to be put in the fridge straight away just on the table. For got all this to sort, but look how many herbs we got. And a bit herb crazy. <laughs> well, Eddie went a bit herb crazy. photo and kind of artwork wall that we're working on we were going to put one here but for some reason there's something in the wall that's really difficult to like like tap into so we have to get a bigger drill and try and put that there because we we're going to put that there and then it'd be parallel with that one the black one so that's really annoying but hopefully it'll go up soon but yeah gonna have a bit of a collage wall eventually also this one here reminds me so much of haunted mansion at disney world i don't know why I guess it's kind of like a castle that's a bit creepy. What's for tea? We've got chicken madras. Did cheat a little bit because I used this Tesco finest sauce, but it's got shallots. What else did I put in it? Ginger, cumin, and I think I've boiled on the rice now, so I need to take it off. <laughs> ah, I saw the wine. Got the wine. What? Have I ruined it already? Yeah. It opened up my eyes, I got the wines. Look, it's I saw the sign. It is, but you got the wine. I got the wine. And it's only a Thursday. On the last episode of Handmaid's Tale. Don't know if anyone else has watched it, but I've loved it. Have you? Yeah, it's been really good. I love, um, what's the actress's name in it? It's Peggy in Mad Men, which I wasn't that bothered about her in that part, were you? No. She was alright, but... 
I feel like this really, really suits her. It's um, made me realise what a good actress she is. It's the last episode. Very good. Yeah, 10 of 10. the trek uphill into town. Can't see him anyway. Ed's oblivious, he's looking for me. <laughs> Doesn't think I'm here yet. Oi. Yeah. Hello. If you're gonna say for yourself, Lavu, <laughs> you said trams are better and they're not. <laughs> in previous footage but I got this really really cute pusheen top I love it and I also got another one didn't I Ed? Yeah. He's busy preparing tea we're gonna well we're finding out how to cook fennel aren't we? Yeah. We've done it before but it's just one of the things you're looking at and you're like what are we doing? Well I was trying to do something different. I basically bought this from Primark earlier and then he kindly bought me the other one that I like the grey one. Oh you good <laughs> I don't even think I got you in shot then, but it was kind of going. I really love them. I think my Disney obsession is slowly pushing over to all the characters as well that aren't even Disney. I'm a bit worried for my bank account. Talking to you, I'm not talking to the camera. It's a bit worried for my bank account. Yeah, could be a problem in future. Because I'm, I'm just collecting different characters now, it's not just even Disney stuff. Okay. You've gone forever. What you got there? Well, this one behind the camera treated me to a bottle of Federica's. How cute! We've had it a couple of times before, haven't we? Yeah. It's not orange liqueur, but it's pretty good neat or on the rocks or in a cocktail. In fact, oh, it would be so nice with lime, wouldn't it? Mm. How cute is she? Our Sunday dinner on a Saturday, haven't we? Yeah. It's really good. Steak and mash and fennel, mash. Don't nice. say mash like a normal person. It might not be very Instagrammable, and I'm not exactly going to be on Great British, British Bake Off with it, but I haven't made a Victoria sponge for a long time, so yeah. I'm sure it'll taste good. Hi everyone, so it's the 7th of August, and I have to admit, not much very exciting's happened over the past few days, but I promise I've got a lot more plans, a lot more things lined up over the next sort of week and a half. I just thought I'd show you a couple more things that I put up. So I've got this Polaroid fixture up on the wall, um, also a photograph I took there of an owl, I love owls, and um, mum bought me this for Christmas, a print with pigeons on, it's from a printmaker in Sheffield, like a local printmaker, so I'd not got a frame for it and I thought for god's sake I need to get a frame, so I bought it from Wilco's, it's one of these things if you don't do straight away you end up just having them lying about for ages, so yeah really love that print, it's gorgeous. Well, Andrew and Anand, I don't know who you are, but this looks pretty cool. It's got three different parts to the sauce. So there's the herbs in the top one. I think the middle one might be something spicy and then the main chicken tikka. Should be normal. Nice having tea outdoors, isn't it, Shui? Yeah. And having your tea on the table when you get in. <laughs> Look at Kit in the background. <laughs> You're not eating any of it. 
Bye. <laughs> Hey. I'm vlogging. <laughs> we're just at Hollywood Bowl. In fact, why are we not even at Hollywood Bowl? We've just been staring at that sign, but we're not actually going there. Um, we are at that area, but we're going to go see um, Eddie's Choice. Baby Driver. At, uh, I was going to say Cine you World. as well, Cine World. <laughs> going to Cine World. Yeah, fall over. I won't fall over. Big step. Um, Eddie's Choice. If it's bad, I'm blaming you. Yay. It was nice coming for an impromptu cinema date, isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can't really tell though. It doesn't look as good on camera, does it look? No. It never looks as good as in real life. Walking past it. See ya. Good morning, everybody. In fact, I lie, it's not even the morning. It's full on into the afternoon, not had any lunch yet. I've done that thing of spending all morning watching YouTubers. It's an addiction. Anyway, I'm just going to get some lunch. I'm just uh, filmed part of my video, uh, a skinny tan review. They sent me some uh, really nice uh, tanning products, obviously, skinny tan. So I've just popped that on. It's about an hour, it's just an hour moves, but I don't know, we'll see. The colour guy's quite good because it's, uh, yeah, it looks quite dark, so I'm going to wash it off after about an hour. But yeah, I'm going to get back to my YouTube and have some lunch kindly been sent these to review from the Crooked Beverage Company but sadly I've just found out they've got gluten in well they've got barley in I think yeah they've got malted barley so me won't be able to try them sad times but I'm sure Eddie will give them a go and then he can give me his opinion so I can do a little blog post on them but how cool is the artwork like so well designed I absolutely love them I just got these in the post someone picked me them up from Liverpool how freaking cool are they? And they're actually a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Like, I thought they'd be really small. For four pounds, they're not bad at all. Completes my collection. So over there, so I'm gonna go put them on there, line them up until I can find a better place for them. Better get a wiggle on because that is nearly at the pub, he said with his work colleagues, but I'm going out for a drink with them this evening. I just wanted to show you this kimono I got yesterday from a charity shop. I went with my mum, charity shop shopping. And it's the only thing I bought. But it's really nice, I really like it. It's from New Look. Just thought, I've got a few kimonos, but they're just good to throw over anything. Am I recording? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I couldn't even see the screen. Had a bit of a shit day because I started with a migraine this morning, which was horrible. Went out for a few drinks last night and you end up paying for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, been for a walk out. Got a bag load of stuff from Poundland, all sorts of house crap you didn't even realise you needed. <laughs> Feeling a little bit better, I'll be going out for a bit of so. sun. So I've just got in. I don't know why, but I ended up buying a scratch card. <laughs> Desperate times. It's called Piggy Payout. I'm sure Piggy never pays out. Oh well. I won my quid back. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Yes, I'm a big kid and ended up buying that with Olaf on. It does smell good though, to be fair. And I got this as well. I thought this was amazing for a pound. It's like a beauty storage thing. I'm presuming for lipsticks or nail varnishes. And it's got a bit in the middle as well where you can put your eyeliner. So that was pretty good. I've already ate half of these. Oh, and these. My mum's got these in the garden like solar panel uh, with a little panel I'm sure on the top um, and they just glow kind of clear at night so I thought they'd be quite nice in the garden. So I've just factory reset my phone which is a bit terrifying. When it was updating, when it was resetting, it was just all in German wasn't it? So yeah. I couldn't even tell what it was doing really. It's actually come up now that I can change the language so that's reassuring. I forgot it was German when I got it. That's how long I had my phone, it's practically ancient. Yeah. Oh no, it's making funny noise, I don't like this. 